Hey, welcome to episode two of the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. Uh, and just as we went over uh, H2 blockers in the first episode uh, and talked about suffixes and prefixes and those kinds of things, uh, some students want something a little bit more advanced. And what I did was I created a video that uh, represents what's in uh, Memorizing Pharmacology mnemonics. So uh, in terms of the order, uh, Memorizing Pharmacology, a relaxed approach, uh, that's really a, a top 200 drug book that uh, it's a little bit more than seven hours, uh, but definitely can be done in a weekend uh, if you need to prepare for pharmacology class or kind of catch up with it. Uh, if you want a little bit more advanced book than uh, Memorizing Pharmacology Mnemonics, uh, that's definitely a great choice as well uh, because this one is really going to help you. So uh, it's going to be about a 10 minute video uh, going over antacids, not only how to remember uh, a number of the popular antacids, uh, which don't have stems, don't have prefixes or suffixes because the generic name and chemical name are the same. We've got sodiums and calciums and aluminums and so forth. Uh, but again, uh, check this out uh, and enjoy the show. Hey, I just wanted to tell you about a new book I wrote. Uh, what I wanted to do was create a review for my students that will allow them to prepare for their final exam. But I'm doing that in a quite a different way in that I'm not just saying here are the questions. Uh, you need to know the answers or even giving uh, necessarily uh, just a plain review. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm really helping get past the just understanding part. So often uh, professors are very good at helping a student understand, but they don't always give them the tools that they need to memorize something uh, for an exam. Because in the exams or on the NCLEX, NAPLEX, USMLE, when we're getting to those big exams, uh, that's when we really have to have our memory down so that we can do uh, the higher level understanding and working through. But let me show you how it works. Uh, so the book is called Memorizing Pharmacology Mnemonics, and I changed the title a bunch of times. I think this is what I'm going to stick with. Uh, Memorizing Pharmacology Mnemonics, Pharmacology Questions and Answers for the Future Nurse, Doctor, Physician, Assistant, and Pharmacist, and uh, Chemist. Uh, this is the Kindle edition. And I put all of those different professions in there. I'm not trying to exclude anybody else that wants to read it, but I put them all in there because... Uh, we're interprofessional now. We're working on outcomes, uh, not necessarily worried. While we are worried about our individual exams, I think pharmacology crosses across those. And the courses I have, I have pre-meds and pre-pharmacy and uh, pre-nursing or nursing and uh, pre-physician assistant, pre-dental uh, and pre-physical therapy. And I have all these different groups. And when I just talk about one group, then I exclude the others. So I wanted to make sure to include everybody. Uh, in this interprofessional book. You can read it two ways. You can just skim the 131 mnemonics in there and you'll see what they look like and just look at the slides say oh okay I'm getting antacids I just want to put that in my head then H2 blockers then proton pump inhibitors and you know from my past books that everything in is in a memorizable order so you can memorize the entire book uh, and entire you know bank of slides uh, as well. Or you can read it slow and you can go through each drug class. But what I've done is I've created a question and answer format. So it's not just here are 131 mnemonics. The big mistake people makes, make is that a mnemonic is an answer. So if you're just reading a book with mnemonics, you're just reading a book with answers. You don't have the questions, right? So the mnemonic that you know maybe has morphine as the word and all the side effects of morphine never bothers to ask you and engage your brain and say what are the side effects of morphine so i've kind of fixed that part and uh, as you go through the book i've used page breaks so that it goes question and that's all you see on the page and then you can flip to the answer and then go back to the question if you didn't quite uh, remember it back and forth and then move on to the next one. So again, it can be read fast or it can be read slow and uh, I get this inspiration from the uh, I Take piano every once in a while and then there's always a fast and a slow version of each of those and You can get it here. Uh, obviously you can't link from the picture, uh, but I'll put the link in the video bottom So let's get started. Here's the first question name four antacids and four side effects or interactions that concern you about antacids. And so what you might do is start thinking, um, well, Tums is an antacid and um, 
let's see, I, I heard that it might cause constipation, and you have this very roundabout way of learning it. And what I wanted to do is, no, here, this is the order that you can learn it in such a way that you can memorize it quickly and be done with it. So this is all about efficiency. This is all about getting it done quickly and keeping it in your brain quickly. We're not gonna have any of this, oh, I just, I read a whole chapter and I don't remember anything. No, no, we're, we're doing quite the opposite, okay? So here's the answer, it's acidic meals. And that's gonna be our mnemonic that we're going to work with. And I'm gonna show you how we go through uh, each of the letters, and we don't always use all of the letters, uh, and you'll see that here, uh, but we will use a majority of them, and you'll see how that fits into something that you can memorize. So we begin with aluminum hydroxide, which is brand Amphigel, and then we say, okay, well, that's good, that's one. Number two, calcium carbonate, which comes as Tums and Pepto Children's. So if you're just kind of burning through this, you say, okay, I'm just trying to remember what they are. But in the book, I talk about how you know, Tums and Pepto Children's both have that calcium carbonate, but that's not Pepto Bismol. Pepto Bismol is Bismol subsalicylate, which you can't use in a child because it has an aspirin like component, can cause Rye syndrome, uh, a terrible, terrible disorder. So there's m many more details in the actual book, but if we're just kind of burning through it, trying to remember, hey, what are four antacids and what are four side effects? That's what I need to know. So we're gonna keep going. So those are two of the antacids, and we attach them to A, and then the C of acidic, because although you don't really, it's not really the acidic meal, it's the acidity that comes from the meal, it just kind of stuck is a good way of remembering it. So the first side effect, or first issue that we have, is decreased phosphate with aluminum hydroxide and calcium carbonate. And I intentionally put the chemical names here, because sometimes you'll see them that way, or sometimes you'll see them spelled out in this way. But again, aluminum plus three, that means that we have three hydroxyls, or three, three OH groups uh, with negatives, and then we're going to have three of those to attach to the plus three. Calcium is plus two, CO3 two minus, so that it goes together as calcium carbonate. But this decreased phosphate can also help someone that has hyperphosphatemia. Then we go on to the ions and the concern about chelation. So chelation with fluoroquinolones and tetracyclines, you can take the, uh, if you think about some of the fluoroquinolones that are out there, there's ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, so the C and the L from chelation, and then the T from tetracycline, remember the tetracyclines are also an issue. Chelation is a binding and makes it inactive or makes the uh, fluoroquinolone or tetracycline antibiotic inactive, so we want to separate these uh, antacids from those two uh, drug classes by a certain number of hours. And then the next one is constipation from aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate. Both of these are constipating uh, antacids. So what we've done very quickly is said, okay, well, I've got two of the antacids, aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate, and then I've got three of the side effects, decreased phosphate with aluminum hydroxide and calcium carbonate, uh, the deal with chelation with fluoroquinolones and tetracycline, and then constipation from aluminum hydroxide and calcium carbonate. So instead of just this kind of random jumble of, okay, this is what I've got to remember, please stay in my brain for the test, we've said, okay, this is exactly how I'm gonna do it, this is the order I want my brain to hold on to this information. Now I said we're gonna need four and four, so we're gonna take meals and take part that act, uh, mnemonic as well. So you have magne milk of magnesia, which is the brand name for magnesium hydroxide, another antacid. Magnesium hydroxide causes a laxative effect, so we wanna make sure to put that as well. To contrast that calcium carbonate and aluminum hydroxide cause constipation. So an antacid doesn't always cause the same side effect. It depends on which one. And then sodium bicarbonate, it's in Alka-Seltzer. You would consider this also an antacid. So for this next one, we have meals, M-E-A-L-S, to remember two more antacids, one more side effect. So now we have four antacids, four side effects in our brain. Uh, and we can say, okay, well, what are the four uh, what are the four antacids? Aluminum hydroxide, calcium carbonate, magnesium hydroxide, sodium bicarb. What are the four side effects? Decreased phosphate, 
chelation, constipation, and laxative effect. Okay, so and then this is similar to what it would look like in the book. Uh, the book is black on white, so it's a little bit different. Uh, and I know it looks a little bit jumbled here, but your brain has no problem with that. You can just go back to it, and all your brain wants is order and organization. So you just hear the A, C, I, D, I, C for acidic, and you know two of the antacids, three of the side effects, and then you've got meals, M-E-A-L-S, two antacids, one side effect for a total uh, with everything of four antacids, four side effects in a very memorizable order. And you can come back to this, you can practice this, but this is just one of the 131 uh, mnemonics that I put in there. But let me know in the comments that this method would be helpful. Again, I try to innovate, but that doesn't mean that I know if it works or not. So I'm curious to see if this is something that's helpful for you.